You have a question? Oh yes, I have an answer. Hey guys, thanks so much for clicking on the video. This is another episode of Ask James. Let's get to our email. Hey James, I'm a big fan of yours and your videos. Always brighten my day. I discovered your channel a year ago and I'm still catching up on all the videos that I've missed. Good luck, there's a whole bunch. <laughs> well, I have a cousin that is significantly older than me and he has a disability. He is the son of my favorite aunt and uncle. As a child, I would spend summers at their house. My cousin still lives with his parents due to his disability and doesn't have many friends. My aunt and uncle always thank me for being a great cousin to him and responding to his calls and messages. My issue is that one summer, this cousin molested me. I was around seven years old. As I've gotten older, the visuals of what happened have become clearer to me. I am now 30 years old and my cousin and I still communicate. I wonder sometimes if he even remembers what happened. I don't think I could ever tell my aunt and uncle what happened because it would devastate them. Part of me wants to be free from the secret and the other part of me does not want to cause my family any anguish. What is your advice? Thank you so much. Okay, and let me say that this is actually coming from a male. It's a male. Um, first of all, I, I understand the situation of not wanting to cause family drama. So I, I understand that. Um, you know me, so you've been watching, so you know I'm going to tell you when it comes to family and protecting the family when the family didn't protect you, it is what it is. If it causes drama, it causes drama. If it's wearing on you, then you need to do what it is that you need to do to protect you. We're talking years and years, over 20 years later. And you're still pondering over it, it's still bothering you. You need to protect you. You need to heal you. And then you worry about everybody else later. Now, the thing is, where you are in life now, this cousin, and 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 put the disability aside, okay? Because the disability does not excuse you from bad behavior. Understand that. Disability does not excuse you from bad behavior, not in the least. He was out of order, completely out of order. Um, the thing is, this doesn't even have to go into the other family members. What I would do personally, I would approach him. I would approach him. I would approach him. I would want to know, do you remember what has what happened? And let's talk about it. And then go from there because... You, you never know. If you don't, like you say, an open mouth doesn't get fed. If you don't bring it up, then you don't know exactly where it's going to go. Um, but for you to be writing me, I'd say that it's still bothering you. I would talk to him. I would. I would actually talk to him, see what he says. Now, if he tried to get cute with me, baby, I would let his ass have it. I would let his molesting ass have it. But if he doesn't remember, I bring him up to speed. We would have the conversation. I, it, you know, that conversation could go a couple different ways. We would definitely have the conversation, though, just to see what, what you know, where he's going to go with it. And then you make your next step from that point. But um, you deserve some answers. You deserve some apologies. You deserve, you deserve to know why that happened. I mean, we're talking about seven-year-old. There was something that was definitely taken from you as a seven-year-old child. 
you know, to, to, to inflict that on a seven year old and then have you have to process it and you haven't processed it all that well because here we are over 20 years later and it's still wearing on you. And, you know, and let's be honest, even after all of that, you may actually have to seek professional help to actually work through that. You know, I don't know exactly how deep it is for you, but don't be afraid. Don't be embarrassed or anything like that, because you may actually have to seek some professional help to actually work through that. Because remember, that seven year old child, that seven year old child was violated and you've become an adult. And maybe you can deal with your seven year old and say, maybe not. If you if you can't, don't be embarrassed. Don't be hesitant to actually reach out to someone who is actually certified to actually handle the seven year old child. But no, I wouldn't take it to the family right away. I would definitely go with him because he can't do anything to hurt you now. He can't hurt you now. You know, you you have the upper hand. You're an adult. You, you you're an adult. Um, you're going to have the upper hand. Trust me. Give yourself the upper hand. You can't hurt me anymore. I just want to know why you did it. And I want your ass to apologize. Period. Point blank. And if you don't give me what I want, I'm going to let your ass have it. So that's just kind of, I mean, you know, I, I am so sorry that you even had to go through that. It happens way too much. It is Really, it is shocking the number of people who actually have this type of a background story. Somebody you've been nice to and that kind of thing. Someone you trusted to actually violate you as a child under the age of 10. You know, come on. Seriously? Absolutely disgusting. Absolutely disgusting. And you definitely do deserve an explanation and you deserve an apology. Period. Point blank. So... I hope this helps. Um, I'm wishing you all the best. I really hope it doesn't get ugly if you go ahead and you decide to actually approach your cousin. I hope that your cousin has actually done some growing in these last 20 some odd years and can actually be a decent human being or as close to as possible and and try to clear this up. You know what I mean? It happened. You can't take it back. You can't unring the bell. But yeah, let's not make it ugly. You know, it can get ugly, but let's not make it ugly. So I'm wishing you the best and you take care of yourself. And remember what I said. If you can't get past it, get someone to help you get past it. You don't want to drag this any further on into your life. OK. All right. Later. You have something you need to get off your chest or something you need some help with? I'll give it my best shot. Send me an email to spillitboy at gmail.com. And in the title line, you want to put Hey James to make sure that I actually see it. If you don't put Hey James in the subject line, I'm not going to see it. It's going to continue to be an issue. So send me an email and we'll talk about it later.